Next time I see you on the spot. Oh, yo, which one? Oh, you're you're the new one. Hey. Happy Halloween everyone, tonight I'm coming to you from the Park Street Horror House, a place you may be familiar with as I filmed it last year. I was invited back because this year is bigger and better than last year, and we're going to be getting a behind the scenes look at it, and maybe, just maybe, scaring a few guests. So if you're ready to have some fun, just come along with me. All right, guys, so right here is Adam. You may remember him last year. He was the one who gave us the behind-the-scenes tour. He's also the one responsible for the Park Street Horror House. He did invite me back because a lot of changes were made, and it's safe to say this got considerably bigger, right? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to take us for a behind-the-scenes tour and show you what changes have been made. All right, let's do it. So last year, the biggest change here was the clowns from Killer Clowns and all that. So we got rid of that, and we did the whole... Um, just more of a huge cemetery display. So now this way we go is going to be Candyman. So of course you have to say his name five times for him. Right here. So again, I just try to fill in some blood, um, hooks and stuff like that. Um, the Candyman part, and then coming through here, you have this first mechanism, so his hook comes up and down and everything. Um, it's hard to hear, but his soundtrack's going with a theme. And then we did the mirror tint here with this hook coming through and then added just these. That was the closest thing we could find for bees. They look like ladybugs, but they're supposed to be bees. Um, and then this whole side is the mirror tint. Um, so this way, again, you have the whole mirror for the whole part of Candyman. More of his hook more of his name and I couldn't figure a way to incorporate Tony Todd into it so depending on which way you go once you get in this room there's a black light so this actually lights up all blue so you actually see Tony Todd's face so then at least we're introducing the candy man so now this we have all black lights um, so all the different masks that are neon double up you got the screams you know, all the different sayings for the movie um, the whole Sydney there's this guy, he's up there for that mechanism from the last year with the Killer Clown's hand. Um, so he drops. And then same with this guy. He's a prop from Spirit Halloween. So he slides through and then his, uh, uh, so he'll slide out that way. And then you come this way, and you got Mike killing off Bob. Oh, that's cool. So. And then added just the uh, cookie, nasty looking blood. So last year, this is the guy, the killer clowns last year. They're, it gets really noisy in here, real, <laughs> real noisy. Um, so just kind of more, just a lot of the clowns. They just kind of talk. 
lock in. And then you got the sensor up top, so he drops down. So just a couple few things to pop up here and there. And then the slim crack. And once you get on here, you have the whole killer cloud. So as much as we didn't want to keep it the same, you have to try to also use the same that you had last year. So we thought just put them in a corner. So we then we go into saw. The only thing is we took a huge hit on that rain the other day. So this somehow got wet and I just haven't had time to try to find another one. Um, but this actually used to move back and forth so it actually looked like it was cutting the guy open and stuff. So it's a kind of a bummer, but I mean at least when somebody walks by, I mean we could just kind of right. swing it so it gives the effect. Um, the projector with the play on that screen, which it's a little too late now, but yeah. it has a couple of different uh, scenes from the movie. Just tossed from Billy there. And then when we get to this side, um, you're gonna go into Leatherface's basement. Oh, this is so, cool. So there's uh, a lot different, and then that door. We made sure it was on the spring, so this way it'll swing through. Yeah, I keep it separate. Um, these were donated uh, by some lady she, that lives somewhere on this block, and she's just like, "Hey, I have a bunch of mannequin heads. You guys want them? You know, rip into them, cut them, bloody them up, or whatever." We really don't know what we're doing with him. It was just like a last minute thing. So we figured, well, we'll just hang Grandpa up there <laughs> for now. Um, Is there going to be an uh, actor in here? Yes. yes. Leatherface will be in here um, for his area. And then, um, so, I mean, we just hung the chains. Um, and then we had to try to figure out how to do it in here because when we got that rain, it, it, it was bad. Like a swamp. We, yeah. And then you'll go into Camp Crystal Lake, which last year you saw Jason Shack. So this is more now of a feel of... Um, you're kind of like in a woodsy tunnel um, going into Jason's area. We have um, Jason's mom's head and everything again. Then we just have to wrap that around. But we're just using until we get everything set up. Uh, I don't want to necessarily say too much what the sleeping bag's for, but if anybody's a uh, Friday the 13th person, they know exactly what he's going to do with that sleeping bag. Uh, when people come through the tent and stuff like that, um, he may or may not have somebody in there and may, you know, dragging them out or whatever. But So then this... So the area with the killer clowns that we lost, this is um, what Justin did to basically like work everything up. So I think there's probably, I, I can't even tell you how many corn stocks, but <laughs> between people giving them, uh, the small farm. Some, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so like during the day it gets hard because again, with the weather and everything else, it just, I mean, it started ripping them and tearing them and everything. Uh, so then, uh, so that'll be one passageway if you really want if you want to go that way but then you'll end up on the opposite side um so when you come this way there'll be um a few actors and stuff in here that'll go so then you have to start getting narrow again so again we try to we try to do stuff but last year i mean everything was kind of crazy with covid and i mean it still is but we just, it's not scary if it's not enclosed. So then we did like the little Sam area and then there is an actual, um, Justin's daughter, she's Sam. So she'll be running around without the costume and all that stuff. And so we did the pumpkins. This is, uh, again, we had to just do like a quick fill in area. So we just added, um, little skeletons and all that. And then you just get into a very long dark tunnel which on that side you really can't see this way because there's so much going on that you're looking at but then here you can have leather face popping up at you um and then we have like little side doors so we know how to get in and out if we have to get to somebody else's section then uh little spider area so we got the jumping spider which are always nice because you can get a lot of good jump scares with them and then we were going to shred it but we figured it's better if you kind of have to Push or through, yeah. Walk through it. Because the second you walk through it, and by the time you get here, you get right to Michael Myers. So then, if anybody's looking for any home reality or anything like that, they can call Strode. Watch your stuff right there for a moment. And then, once you get up here, um, once you make this corner, you'll know exactly where you're going. 
this thing. So, we're going back into Freddy's here. Gotcha. So you got all these. We have a spoiler room that now is able to actually extend or expand it. Add more of the piping and the projector with the film going off of it. Is that you? And then when the fog machine goes off, we ran the PVC piping this way and then cut holes so it actually sprays out. Okay. So it actually looks like mist and everything from the scene. Um, and then he has his different areas uh, that he'll be able to run around and jump. Okay. So where we were with the cemetery on that side, then you get on this side, so you leave Freddy's area. So everything is all more burnt everybody's dead all that stuff so this is the Springwood Cemetery um, so then you know everybody can come out they can take pictures in front of this they can take pictures in front of the other things um, I did a quick run through it took maybe like two minutes two and a half minutes but I know how to get through I would say you could probably easily if you take your time going through I'd say maybe a good 10 minute walk through and everything so so it, it has expand like it, it has gotten a lot larger but it's also smaller in areas because you actually have to take your time because it's more just compressed together so you actually have to twist and turn and everything all right so thanks to adam for the personal tour can't wait to see what it's gonna be like when all the actors are in place uh starts at five o'clock goes yep. until 11 11 o'clock tonight and tomorrow night you're probably seeing this video tomorrow though but it'll give you a sneak peek for next year because it seems like they do change it around and from what i've seen from last year to this year it's an incredible change and i can't wait to share it with you guys thank you My name is Adam, and I'll be playing Michael Myers. I'm Rick McLaughlin, and I'm playing Jason. I'm Justin, and I play Freddy. Hi, my name is Alexander, and I'm playing a Scarecrow. Hi, my name is Jeremy, and I'm playing Leatherface. Another great thing for this year too is they actually have the cooperation of the borough police. We're able to block off the street so no traffic can come through, only local residents. So it's going to be safe for people to come here to walk on the street, take pictures, and do the haunted attraction. So thumbs up to Carbondale Police Department. You want something? Freddy Do you like cookies? Please don't kill me. I'm very nice. <laughs> 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 
So darkness is upon us. The haunt is open. The actors are getting ready to scare a few guests. People are arriving, and I'm going to be giving you guys a walkthrough or two. And later on, once it gets darker, I'm going to be finding a place to hide with my mask on and hopefully get a few great scary actions.
You're almost out. You almost made it. Now it's time to scare some people. So, Park Street Horror House, 2021, Carbondale, Pennsylvania. A special thanks and shout out to Adam, his family, his friends who are responsible for putting this on, and invited me back for the second year to see how much they've improved and expanded from last year. I was actually blown away. I couldn't believe how expansive it was. Going through the corn maze and changing the scenes, doing uh, different uh, jump scares, different props, different special effects, it really is incredible what they're able to accomplish and it's only for two or three days depending on when Halloween falls they are tonight and tomorrow and tonight thankfully the weather held out it was a nice comfortable clear night uh, we had roughly 100 people go through tomorrow for Halloween they're expecting even more and unfortunately I won't be able to be here to check it out but if you guys missed it this year make sure to come next year if you are local to the area they really do stand apart from the rest because they are 100 percent free there's no charge no admission you could go through a few times if you'd like and on top of that, donations for the gift baskets and just donations in general go towards a good cause. Hats off to them for what they do and the actors, you know, I just love how they're really in character. They're chasing people down the street with Jason, the uh, leather face with the chainsaw. But I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what your favorite scene was or favorite character. For me, although I love Jason, Leatherface and his layer there was phenomenal. It just was so cool with the limbs hanging, the special effects, and he's out here chasing people with the chainsaw. They really did put in a great effort this year. And like I said, I'm 
glad to share it with you guys, for those of you who can't make it, and to spread the word for those who maybe don't know about it. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Have a happy Halloween, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.
nobody remembers me. I can't come back if nobody remembers me. Welcome to your nightmare. Make them remember!